Good morning, everybody. My name is Jesse Meekum. This is a Whiteboard Wednesday on Thursday. Um, I am the founder of youneedabudget.com. And today I wanted to talk about something conceptual, nothing to do with the software specifically, but uh, it was an insight I gained when I was reading a book called Intuitive Eating by two nutritionists. And there was one part in the book, it's an excellent book, I recommend it, where uh, they talked about the balance, and they were talking about food, but I saw obviously parallels to budgeting immediately um, they're talking about a balance between guilt and desire so in their instance they were talking about as you eat things that you know are bad for you you start to pile on the guilt and you're quenching all your desires but you know dump and going into all those desires and just giving into all of them, you're piling more and more desires on there and, all, and then your guilt obviously goes way up. If on the other hand, you take away all those desirable foods that you want to eat and you're really, really strict and just absolutely guilt free because you're not eating any of those, so you're doing those things that just take, take all that away, then your desires start to get really high and you start to have these cravings for things and it's kind of all consuming or whatever. So that's kind of the idea though, is it's a balance between guilt uh, because you're not eating the right things and then having at the same time when you're not having these desires that, you know, cravings for this. And the, the same thing will happen with budgeting and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about specifically was when people first start out, they, just like a diet, it's like they want to do it just perfect and it's like it's either all or nothing it's just an all-in proposition and what you do is say okay I want my budget to be this and you automatically are doing these unrealistic expectations just like the dieter that will say well I will not eat any sugar I will not eat any enriched flour I will not eat any uh, partially hydrogenated oils and then you know you find out you're limited extremely uh, to just kind of your basic foods that's great and everything but when you jump right in there, just all in cold water and everything, this is just going to shock your system and you're not going to be able to maintain that. And so when people first start, I would really just kind of not have you be retroactively budgeting because the planning is so valuable, but I want you to kind of just go with the flow for the first 30, 60 days and see just as more of an exploratory phase just to kind of discover where do you spend your money? What do you care about? What, you know, what, where, where does the guilt with your spending come from? And why, does that, why is that guilt there? But just be a little more introspective and it's a 60 day learning period rather than just right at the starting line and you're off on this sprint and it's a 40 meter sprint and you're gonna be fried here in a second. So with budgeting, the nice thing about the planning aspect is you can quench some of those desires and at the same time, you don't need to feel guilty about them because it's part of your plan. So if you are, I mean, it's gardening season for me, so I'm really into that. And if I want to try some exotic plant or something that's probably not gonna work in my zone, but I just wanna try it anyway, it's kind of expensive, I budget for it. And if the plant fails, and it likely will, uh, that's okay. You know, and if I want to spend money on a new putter because that's going to save my putting stroke, I plan for it and I buy it and it's guilt free. So you really can't have your cake and eat it too. You just can't necessarily have the cake right now. And I feel like a lot of people when they first jump into the budgeting, you guys want to do it perfectly and your perception of what is perfect is totally skewed by some ideal that is absolutely unrealistic. So just encourage you to, when you're first getting started, these 30, 60 days, be in the learning phase. Just learn about what you spend your money on and learn just how you respond to different restraints. And just don't beat yourself up at all. Just get started, uh, start small, start simple, few categories, and just say, I'm going to learn about this money thing and me. And I think it'll work then when you start to kind of figure out how you work with money, then your budget can mold itself to that. And you'll find out that as you follow that rule and assign every dollar uh, to a different job, that your money will begin doing things that you want it to do, your guilt will drop, your contentment will 
go through the roof. Uh, you'll be quenching some of those desires. Mine is an iPhone 4. I missed the pre-order. Anyway, so think about that exploratory phase, learning about yourself, don't beat yourself up, balance between guilt and that restriction and quenching some of those desires and purchasing some of the things you want. Anyway, just food for thought, uh, no pun intended there. And I will see you guys next week. Sorry for being a day late, but uh, that's basically it. Sh uh, thanks for sharing YNAB with your friends. Uh, we're growing fantastically well. Update is being pushed uh, probably any day now. So you can check out Taylor's development blog to get more insights on kind of the development roadmap. But anyway, uh, have a great day, everybody, and we will talk to you later. Thanks.